everybody, welcome to the limited edition version of episode 96 of the Toys for Games podcast. We are recording this on a Thursday evening, November 10th, 2016. I am one of your hosts, Josh Brown. I am joined by the globetrotting adventurer himself, Jason Greer. Good evening, Josh. How are we doing tonight? Fantastic. We have a, a lot to cover in a short amount of time, so uh, we are going to try to exercise as much brevity as possible tonight. Knowing us... Buckle your seatbelts. Yeah. It's, 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 it could go one of two ways. It's going to go smoothly and fantastically or right into the side of the mountain. Not sure yet. <laughs> this is just the warm-up. The limited edition version, of course, uh, is just in preparation for the full show. Who knows what could happen there, but... We will do our best to try to stay on topic tonight. And that's saying a lot, because we have some things to talk about. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank our executive producer, George Torres, as always, uh, who I'm hoping to hang out with in about a week or so. That's so exciting. Oh, I can't wait, man. I was talking to Val tonight, and I was just like, we are a week away from being just in California and Disneyland and wherever we want to be down there. And that's fantastic. Churro heaven. Yeah, surrounded by friends and food and just the happiest place on earth, you know? It's gonna Is be Brett going to be there? Do you know? Is what? Is Brett going to be there? We're staying at Brett's house. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. His it's new house. Time, we're, we're breaking it in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, it, it's uh, – George actually I think is going to Arizona for the weekend, but hoping to meet up with okay. him – thursday night before he heads off for the weekend so um but in that yeah we're we're rolling deep with brett so that's how we do it um awesome also thank you our show sponsor as always devin lachinsky you can find his youtube page over at youtube.com slash user slash d l a s c h two that's the number two uh getting right into it because we have no time to waste we have disney affinity news we do which I yeah, want to so, say I, I, I glanced over quickly today and I wasn't even sure that was a real thing that I saw and I completely forgot about it until right now when I saw it on the show notes. <laughs> well, it actually came out last week sometime. Oh, okay. Well, I definitely didn't see it then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Finn's Here Adventures did show off um, the previews of the Bell and Beast characters um, that were in early concept design for Disney Infinity. So, they're back in the um, basic design there, so um, I don't think there's any molds or anything like that created yet. I think it was still in the art phase. Um, but um, if you are a close listener to the podcast, I hinted that this was coming way back when, mm. um, when, I, when I said that you know there may be more to come when official images and stuff come out. Right. Because uh, this we had not seen uh, um, the belt the Bell's design, or obviously the new Beast. So, um, obviously, we're going to read the pictures of that, because that's double whammy legal trouble. So. Right, right. Um, regardless, looks great. Uh, both looks of fun. them do. They, they would have been nice additions to the collection, for sure. Indeed. Uh, R.I.P. Disney and Vandy. Until next time. Uh, moving on, let's uh, swing over to LEGO Dimensions, shall we? Yeah, so Lego Dimensions. Uh, this week, obviously, we got um, a preview on some Black Friday deals um, coming up here in two weeks. Um, so, again, head over to BrickInquire.com if you want the details. If you want a little bit more breakdown, um, listen to the full show. Uh, so, I'm going to try and bore you down with all the numbers <laughs> on this show. Uh, essentially, $10 fun facts is all you need to know. But, um, but, yeah, in addition to that, uh, they did release another Meet the Hero video. Or Meet That Hero, excuse me. Meet That Hero um, video today. Again, Lego humor on point, as, as always. Um, but there is a little glimpse of Hermione in there, so the curiosity is that actually going to be what the figure looks like? Um, or is that just, you know, concept they had available? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But anyways, check the video out no matter what, because it looks freaking awesome. Yeah, definitely. Um, I can't wait for Hermione. I'm so excited. So excited. <laughs> so excited. Um, let's, uh, let's chat about Lightseekers real quick, shall we? Let's do it. Yeah, so Lightseekers uh, did get fully funded on Kickstarter, so congratulations out to them. Um, they are pretty much funded, like, what, what, six hours after we were done recording? It was pretty quick, yep, it yep. felt like. 
also they topped over pretty quickly. So, uh, but yeah, fully funded, ready to go. Um, I think you can still pre-order per se on the Kickstarter page, um, but hopefully you are in there ready to go. Um, if you are in the physical beta test, we'll be getting information probably here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're coming out hot and heavy here shortly, so it's going to be exciting times for that. Yep, things are moving. Um, speaking of moving, Beast of Balance game still in transit. Uh, Boat Watch 2016 is in full force. Uh, it just so excited. Next couple of weeks, Ben. So Don't, excited. It's us. I yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I just can't wait. Yeah. Um, and the best part is like they're still just out there having fun and communicating with the public and being the weird quirky little team that they are, and I love them for it. So. <laughs> Uh, next up, let's talk about Amiibo. Yeah, so Amiibo, um, obviously the big ol' um, release of the Mario Party Amiibo came out this past weekend, um, so hopefully you're able to pick on there, hopefully you grabbed your boo like everybody should have, uh, but those are all available now, um, in stores. Um, some not officially announced yet, as far as I know, uh, but Robin is restocked at GameStop, um, in stores. That showed up with the, uh, I think the day before, maybe the day of, I guess maybe it was, with the new Mario Party Amiibo. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're looking for a Robin, it is available in-store at GameStop, at pretty much all GameStops. Um, if you don't have one, go to a different one and probably have it there. But pretty good number uh, available of that. Um, and finally, some speculation that kind of came confirmed via a report um, was a Cloud Corn and Bayonetta Amiibo that we've been waiting for, um, that we kind of joked about before, but uh, is indeed... Um, according to a recent report, uh, it's going to be coming alongside the Super Smash Brothers port for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, but the thing that's interesting about it is the port is not uh, due to be out within the first, or it's due to be out within the first six months after the launch, not at launch. So theoretically, these still might not be coming until next summer, um, which is a heck of a long time away. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. And of course, you know, it's worth noting this is all. Um... Nothing has been confirmed officially by Nintendo. Um, you know, going on the best news that we have feels pretty safe to say that that's probably the case. But you know, just grain of salt for people out there that might be freaking out, having panic attacks. You know, it, it has not officially been confirmed by Nintendo. Can't imagine it will be until January. So, uh, if you were hoping to get those figures before the holidays, I would say uh, probably not going to happen. So. Probably not gonna happen. <laughs> Just know that. Um, finally, uh, let's talk some Skylanders Imaginators. Yes, Skylanders Imaginators. Um, we were half right with a prediction, uh, but not in the way that we thought it was gonna be. Um, but um, yeah, so Solar Flare Aurora is a Target exclusive. So we thought Target was gonna be getting a exclusive since mm-hmm. Nature didn't show anywhere. We thought it was gonna be. Um, the, um, uh, why am I bunking on what it was called? Yep. Those ones. Those ones. <laughs> um, but, um, but it said the solar flare war, which we said had no idea what it was coming out for, um, is actually going to be a target exclusive. Looks like it's going to be a black Friday release, which is fantastic. No, we, um, we love our black Friday releases. We love our black Friday releases. <laughs> um, so, uh, the, Mystical line is what we thought was going to be. There the, we go. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so there's. It just says in the Black Friday ad says available like exclusive to us. So there's no like available now or available a certain date. So theoretically, it could maybe even come up like the Sunday of that week. I hope they hold it for Black Friday because yeah. 100, you know, I'm going out to get it. <laughs> it. Looks sweet. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, so I mean, still adds a little bit of uh, mystery to those other ones though. Now that yep. this sure. is the Target exclusive. <laughs> I have no idea. It's got to be like another charity thing, then I guess. I don't know. We'll, I don't know. We'll get to the full show. But um, I'm excited that like, two years in a row we're having a Black Friday release. So I'm up on that with the uh, Ethan and Mario Mabel last year. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so fun on that. But yeah, besides that, again, a reminder your Creation Crystals, we are now two of them are being released. Uh, the third one, the Life Creation Crystal, out this Sunday, the 13th. Um, and then finally, again, uh, or no, should I add the Jingle Bell Choppy Mage? Um, it's out in Australia. <laughs> the crazy land skylanders <laughs> look with all the spiders they have to deal with they it's only fitting that they at least did get you see that one the other day 
Yes. Oh, God. Oh, it's horrible. my gosh. I think uh, Ken linked to it in my Extra Life stream, and I was not pleased, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then, yeah, and then finally, again, we'll talk more about Black Friday deals. But again, Walmart, Best Buy, and Target deals are out now. Uh, if you want to check it out, head to SkylandersInquirer.com. Very nice. And uh, as you could tell from just uh, how quickly we ran through all that news, we do have a lot to talk about. We have some uh, cutting-edge analysis and breakdown of everything that we discussed over on the proper show. Uh, but if you were here just for the, the hard-hitting, quick news facts, there you go, my friends. Uh, Jason, where can people find you at? So you can always follow me personally on Twitter, twitter.com slash Jason Inquires. Uh, it's also on Facebook and um, Instagram and YouTube. And obviously, you can always head to all the Toys Life-centric accounts of Brick Inquirer and Skylanders Inquirer. Excellent. You can find me on Twitter at The Noise with a Y. Uh, be sure to follow the show on Twitter at Toys for Games. You can email us, podcast at toysforgames.com. Uh, you can check out our Facebook group, hang out in there with a lot of cool folks, facebook.com slash groups slash Toys for Games. Everything that we do is hosted at our website, toysforgames.com. And if you'd like to support us and what we do, uh, which I want to say thank you to all our patrons because um, that was a big help in everything that we were able to do with Extra Life this weekend and uh, much appreciated. Uh, you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash toys for games. Before you go. Yes. I forgot to add. And we'll talk about it on the full show because I don't want to get my right now. But Portals Owners Pack. Yeah. Um, it's coming to Skylanders as well. Uh, no information really on that, but we'll get to that on the full show. That's uh that's gonna be something to talk about. Hope you're ready, folks. <laughs> if you needed any more incentive to listen to the proper show, uh, there it is. So uh, for those of you only sticking around for this, we'll see you next week. Uh, if you're sticking around for the major show, uh, it's gonna be a good one. I say it always, but I always mean it. Until next time, happy hunting, collectors. Mm-hmm.